Camera, please. Ah, oh, oh. uh, the call of the wild. habits of the local species. <sighs> the flight of majestic birds. Uh -oh. <coughs> the bond between parent and child. Doing what animals do. It doesn't get any wilder than this. Oh, yeah? Don't touch that dial. Or else. We now return to more of me and Animal Crackers. To be a good herd leader, you need proper training. Like jumping rope. Hmm. Hey! Hey! Hill climbing. Oh! And push-ups. <laughs> ah, there's nothing like roughing it in the wild. Hey, you're blocking my light. Eugene, why do I always have to be the one to back down? Well, Dodo, it has to do with your weight problem. What weight problem? My foot on your head. Forget it, Dodo. There's no way I'm moving from this spot. <laughs> Is it gone? I think so. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's mice. Head down. Left arm straight. Follow through. Four! Hey, looks like a special delivery. Ha! It's here! What? My psychiatry diploma. I'm going to cure Eugene of his mouse phobia once and for all. Frank School of Psychiatry and Automotive Repair. Very impressive. Hey, I think he swallowed his tongue. You're the doctor. Eh. You really think you can cure my fear of mice? Of course. I'm a trained professional. And then when I was four, we moved to another herd. And all the other kids made fun of me. I think that's when I first began to feel a sense of loneliness. Hmm, fascinating. What's a six-letter word for imbecile? All set. Where's Fluffy? He's right here. Looks like we've got a nasty mud stain on the window. It's so hard to keep the car clean on these dirt roads. Okay, now what do you see? A jar of peanut butter. Come on, Eugene. We're trying to delve into the deepest secrets of your mind. Use your imagination. Now, what about this one? Two-headed dragon. That's better. Holding a jar of peanut butter. Now, just relax and keep your eyes on the wheel. All right, Eugene. I want you to listen to me very carefully. You will no longer panic whenever you see a mouse. I'm trying a little hypnotherapy. Instead, you will be happy. Mice are your friends. You 
your best friends in the whole wide world. You understand? Yes, Dodo. I understand. Say, is it true that hypnotists can make their subjects do all kinds of humiliating things? Sure, but that sort of thing is pretty unprofessional. You know, he's not half bad. Huh, not cracker. It's so overrated. He's not going to remember any of this, right? Did I pass the audition? Telling you that Eugene is a menace, and if he were here right now, I'd sure give him a piece of my mind. It's Eugene, and he's headed this way. Run for it! Run! Hey guys, wait for me! Ah! Ah! He's got Laverne. Ah! That's it. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. So. I was thinking, uh, well, maybe we could go out sometime. Um, gee, I, I don't know. Don't worry, Levan, I'm coming! Geronimo! Kevin, what are you doing down there? Rescuing you, sort of. Don't be silly. Eugene just wants to be friends. You're kidding. He's actually very sweet. Besides, what harm can it do? Yeah! Yippee! Woo! Inside. Can I come? Never! You want to come in here? Now there's something you don't see every day. What happened? He tried to squeeze his way into our hole and now he's stuck! I think he thinks he's a mouse. Really? I guess the hypnosis worked better than I thought. You gotta do something. He's blocking our hole, ruined our beach party, and ate all our cheese. Did someone mention cheese? I'm starved. I gave Eugene a post-hypnotic suggestion. All I have to do is say one special word and he'll go back to the way he was before. Okay, so what's the word? Uh... You do remember it, don't you? Of course! It's on the tip of my tongue. I think it starts with an L. Or maybe a P. Have you... Polymorph... Protoplasm! Nah. Sheesh, no wonder his species is extinct. Run for your lives! There's a cat behind me! A cat? A cat! A cat. Run! What are you hiding for? Oh, I'm scared of cats. Uh, they're so mean. 
For Pete's sake, Eugene, you're not a mouse. You're an elephant. You can squash that cat with one step. Uh, I can? Yes. Now get out there. <laughs> hey, you! Come on, Eugene. Show them what you're made of. Y you're in big trouble, buddy. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. I'll do anything, anything you say. Oh, nice kitty. <laughs> nice kitty. Parsimony! Uh, persimmon! Petunia! Huh? What's going on? <laughs> What's your problem, Furball? <laughs> Big guy? Fine, except, uh. <laughs> Mice! Oh, 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 get away! Oh, get away! <laughs> Are they gone? Wait! Don't let go! Okay, now you can let go! One thing I can't stand, it's mice. You naughty cat. I don't know how you managed to get out of your cage. <laughs> Petunia break! Stick around for more! It's about time we were gonna start more animal crackers without you. To be a good herd leader, you need proper training, like <laughs> jumping rope. <laughs> Hill climbing. <laughs> and push-ups. Strange lately. Sort of goosebumpy. Funny all over. Me too. Kind of squishy. Do you suppose it's just us? Hi, guys. It's not just us. Well, at least we don't look like fools. Where do you clowns think you're going? Not, not a clue. clue. I'm in. We interrupt this program for a special news bulletin. Huh? Spring fever is spreading quickly through the preserve. Huh? Uh. Symptoms include confusion. Huh? What? Feeling goosebumpy and squishy. A terrible fashion sense. Say, where'd you get the groovy threads, man? And strange cravings. Mm, seems to me there's still one thing missing for this to be a real spring fever. Hello, boys. I don't know what you've got, but Lana's my cure. Every man for himself! Oh. 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 Who am I? What am I? Where do I think I'm going? Why is the sky blue? Whoops! Who are you? Do you know who I am? I don't want to get involved. Have you ever seen me before? Sure, you're Dodo. Ridiculous! A Dodo's an extinct bird that can't fly! So, what's your point? Oh! What are you supposed to be? You're... me! A bird! And you're beautiful! You don't think he's actually gonna... Yep, he is. Can't watch! watch. Lift off! Whoa! You just don't give a girl a chance, do you? Mom was right. You are special. 
Hello, boys. Mmm, you smell good. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? <laughs> Pitching woo? Swiss chocolates. Came with a neat musical pocket watch. Huh? I memorized 312 love poems for you. <clears throat> Roses are red, violets are not red. Um, sugar is white, and so are cotton balls. Okay, wait, I remember. Roses are thorny. Um, some lizards are thorny, and so are you. <clears throat> Took everything I had not to stomp these petunias into oblivion. <laughs> hey, New, how many more of those chocolates? I've never been so embarrassed in my whole life. Not true. What do you mean? That is, today was, uh, and it was uh, pretty humiliating. Nothing compares to that time you tried to surprise her with that ice sculpture. Hey, Lana! Come here! It's you! Um, it's not finished yet. Or how about that time you got tough with that itsy bitsy spider to impress her? Give me a second and I'll walk you home. I can find my own way home, thank you very much. Don't leave me! Oh. And don't forget the time you invited Lana to your place for supper. <laughs> you promised her an old-fashioned cookout. Do you like something cold to drink? You guys are right. Lana's forgiven me for worse. Thanks, guys. Our chances with Lana just doubled. Lana! Ah. I wrote this for you. It's called Symphony of Hooves. I didn't intend to startle you. How do you know my name? Every man with a heart knows your name. It is the last word he whispers before falling into his dreams. I am smitten by a stranger. <sighs> Lana, up here! This is for you! <laughs> And I'm all yours. Maybe you didn't hear me. Yours. All of me. It's you. No, my beautiful lady. It's you. Yo. Oh. Who is that guy? Oh. For you. More flowers? No offense but I expected a little more from you. Anyone could bring me a bouquet of flowers. But only I could bring you a bouquet of butterflies. <gasps> That's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. It is the second most beautiful thing I have ever seen, Erlana. Whoa! Tell me all about yourself and leave nothing out. Who is that guy? Suddenly this looks really, huh? <clears throat> Pathetic. Till we meet again. Adieu. <sighs> Watch. Imagine. Ta da! Lyle? What is that? A visual aid. <gasps> Lyle? What are you? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I'm leaving you now, Lyle. I'm leaving until the fever passes. Can I come too? This looks nothing like a castle. Lana will hate it. And where's Tito? Isn't he supposed to be helping? Well, this mess is hardly my vision. Lana deserves something much grander, more sumptuous, far bigger. Huh? A castle truly fit for a princess. Who is that guy? If you can't beat him, join him. She's not an ordinary woman. Our mistake was treating her like one. She's unique, and she deserves a unique gift. Something that'll take her places she's never been. You're building her a time machine? No, I'm building her a kite. <laughs> They are calling you a mystery man. Little do they know, you are a mystery, even to yourself. Hey, Dodo, where have you been? I don't know. Behold the mysterious stranger. No, no, uh, no. Mm -mm. <sighs> hey, oh, wait up! Could it be? Is it possible? Hey, Lana. No. <gasps> nope. Guess not. Good news. Spring fever has passed, but now another far more insidious fever is sweeping the community. Dance fever! Boy, am I ever looking forward to summer. Hey, pal. Hands off that remote. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah! Animal crackers! <gasps> to be a good herd leader, you need proper training. Like... <gasps> jumping rope! Huh? Hill climbing! And push-ups! 